Finals on its way for the girls under 18, Novice Cox 8, sponsored by Otago University. It's race 489 of the program, due to go at 11.25, but that's changed a bit now. Brilliant water conditions on the mighty Lake Ruatana for in the Mackenzie country. You're in Twisley, you're up the highway, you're at the Aon 2016 Mardi Cup rowing regatta. We'll bring you the start of this one, ladies and gentlemen. And I can tell you that the first bow to push itself out, but not by a lot, is Nelson College for Girls out here on the outside. But it's a very, very even dispatch. And uh, what a spectacle. Looking across the course and seeing these uh, eight w novice women's eights. And uh, there we go, the first crew to push out, the South Island gold medalists, the name number five, which is Ringiruru Girls School. And they now look to be setting sail, and going with them would be uh, to St Margaret's on one side and uh, Diocesan School for Girls on the other side. So Diocesan School for Girls, the North Island title holders. So we've got lanes five and six, the two uh, t respective title holders from the islands, Rangiruru Girls High School and Diocesan School for Girls. But it's uh, the South Island title holders that's doing the better of those two at this time. Then look inside them to uh, St Margaret's College number one and across to uh, Columba College number one. Columba were the South Island silver medalists and they look to be moving quite well. Then come out here to uh, Nelson College for Girls and then just a little bit back to uh, Diocesan School. They're just dropping back a wee bit and then back to uh, St Peter's School number one. But uh, there's not much in it. There wouldn't be, oh yes, uh, just one length covering the field from first to last. So St Peter's exactly one length behind uh, Rangi Ruru Girls School number one. But it's Rangi as they approach 500 metres gone and they would be moving all the time with Rangi Ruru, then go back to uh, Columba College and come outside them to St Margaret's and then further right out to the outside to Nelson College. So as we see uh, Columba just make a bit of a move there and push their bow ahead of St Margaret's, who in turn have got about a canvas over Nelson on the outside, who have only got a foot over Diocesan School for Girls, and then about uh, a third of a length back to St Peter's School. There's not a lot in it, ladies and gentlemen. She's pretty exciting racing and what a spectacle we're being uh, showing here out of Lake Ruatanafa as they go through 650 metres gone but Rangi are uh, really taking the race to the rest of the field, they've got clear water they've gone out by a length and a quarter from Columba College down there on the inside and now St Margaret's trying to come up on Columba and then uh, the pressure's coming from the North Island title holders, Diocesan School for Girls who have moved up into fourth place. Nelson's still here on the outside and only a quarter of the canvas back to St Peter's School. My goodness, I don't seem I've seen such a tight race for a while. Christchurch Girls High School there in lane number three, only dropping back by the nearest of margins. Look at them as they go through. They've just gone through uh, about uh, 800 metres. And you've got uh, Rangi Ruru out in front. Then the bows are lined up. You've got uh, Nelson College and Diocesan down on the inside. Margaret's and uh, Columba College. All the bows are there. And now uh, St Peter's looking to join the party. St Peter's looking to push up with those crews. And it looks to be only Christchurch girls on the inside. That may have dropped back a little bit. And St Andrew who's right on the far side. But we can see lane two, lane four, lane six, lane eight, nice. Columba, St. Margaret's, Diocesan, and Nelson. They're all in the mix for the uh, minor monies. But there's no doubt about it as they come through the 1,000 metres. It's certainly Rangi Ruru Girls School number one. And we can see Olivia Wright. She's just edging her crew on. She's got none of the other eights in her vision. And she knows they're doing very well. Then go down to uh, Columba. They were the silver medalists at the South Island Championships. They are in second spot, but I tell you what, there's a, pit, there's a chasing bunch in behind them. And leading that is Diocesan School for Girls, the North Island title holders. St Margaret's just about half a canvas back on them. 
they would be in fourth spot. Then we try and get a line up, come out here to St Peter's School, and they would have about a third of a length over Nelson College, and then back on the inside to Christchurch Girls, and then improving uh, St Andrews there in lane number one, right on the far side from me. But this, as they go through 1250, no doubt about it, it's uh, Rangiruru Girls School, and it's still Columba College down there in the inside, who have extended their margin over diocesan who in turn are still holding a narrow one canvas length over St Margaret's then uh, let's see if we can line them up for you down there on the inside St Andrews would be next then it would be back to St Peter's and then it would be back to Nelson who uh, would be level pegging with Christchurch girls but uh, take your attention back to the front of the field they've uh, really gone ahead have Rangiruru they've got two lengths over uh, Columba. Now the big mover here on the outside, Diocesan, Diocesan, the North Island champions. They must be feeling a little bit beaten up by these two South Island crews. And now they've gone uh, in search of Columba. They've gone in search of Columba. They've gone in search of a silver medal as they go through 500. There's only about uh, two feet in it, an old measurement, or should I say 60 centimetres. But it's still Columba on the inside of the course. Columba from Diocesan. That's your second and third. Then go back to St Margaret's. They're a half a length down on Diocesan. Then go right over to the inside to St Andrews. Then come out here to St Peter's. Then go back down to uh, Christchurch Girls and outside to Nelson College. But I tell you what, if you've got your uh, got your money on uh, on Rangi Ruru, you're uh, in, in for a win because uh, they've gone out to two and a half lengths. They're just extending, extending uh, uh, Rangi Ruru all the time and diocesan lifting their rating as they come into the last uh, 365 meters of the race but it's still columba on the inside columba just holding that narrow margin columba just holding that canvas lead as diocesan lift as they go through 250 diocesan lifting up columba lifting up it'll be good to get a stroke, rate, stroke coach on these two crews i would say that columba on about 37 perhaps out here with the and that beyond 36 and that may be the difference. Columba just holding that uh, narrow margin you'll see it from the bank but it's Rangiruru out in front Rangiruru going forward all the time. Rangiruru by about two and a half lengths. Columba still holding it as they go through with 100 metres left to row. Diocesan throwing the kitchen sink at it. You can see the six girl look across. You can see them trying to get up Diocesan. They've lifted up their rating by another point but I don't think they're going to catch Columba as we watch uh, Rangiru go through and then it'll be uh, Columba on the inside and then it'll be out to Diocesan, then it'll be St Peter's then it'll be St Margaret's then go down to the inside, looks like Christchurch Girls High School might have got up in St Andrews and then come out here to Nelson well well done to Rangiru Girls School, they're the South Island title holders and now the New Zealand title holders, that was a fantastic race, that was the girls under 18 novice Cox State, the sponsor was Otago University and uh, this is the AI New Zealand 2016 Rowing Championships we're off to bring you the boys under 17-8 can we swap? under 18 novice coxed eight to present the medal to represent otago university shannon adams thank you shannon for being here the winners of the bronze medal for the girls under 18 novice coxed eight from auckland diocesan school for girls
Judge may well be winning the prize so far for the noisiest supporter. Right, in this crew, Olivia Collins, Gemma Charteris, Amelia Josephson, Alana Sullivan, Amy Hill, Kezia Devol, Emma Leeming, Olivia Coolio, and they're coxed by Ariella Rosenbaum Rainish, and very well coached by the Dio coaching team. Their time, 726.86. So bronze medals and coaching medals. Big round of applause for Diocesan School for Bells. <laughs> now the winners of the silver medal for the under 18 Novice Cox 8 from Dunedin Columba College. <laughs> In this crew, Millie Wright, Nikita Horn, Alan Foley, Abby Griffin, Olivia McRae, Amber Cunningham, Abby Anderson, Millie Nesbitt, their Cox by Margot Darling, and coached by Natalie Matheson and Matthew Adam. The time for this crew was 725.13. So really good to see Columba College up here on the podium. Great race. So this is a great achievement for these under 18 novice eights. So let's congratulate again our silver medal winners, Columba College. Now the Aon New Zealand Secondary School Rowing Champs Girls Under 18 Novice Cox 8 Champions for 2016, Rangi Ruru! <laughs> and in this champion crew, Annabelle McCulloch, Imogen Bell, Samantha Summerfield, <laughs> Millie Knight, Prue Longy, Kate Boyd, Anika Calder, Arabella Deans, they're coxed by Olivia Wright, and proudly coached by Anna Dawson. Yay, Anna. The time for Rangi was 718.56. And our thanks once again to Shannon Adams from Otago University presenting the medals. Winners t-shirts for the girls to keep as a souvenir. A great race. Our champions, Rangi Roo!